so and I decided I was going to get a longer belt and leave this together, but I decided even if I ever did fix the motor, it's such a wimpy controller, and I will have pictures of it. The little controller that run that, little motor, there will be pictures at the end, end of the motor. I just got rid of that, that all the wiring tucked inside and sealed up. This, the other one, the sliding one here, 11.5 K ohm. This is only 10 K ohm. So once I get another knob for this, the speed will be in here. Uh, as far as the switch, I don't think so. It's pretty cheesy. I wouldn't want to run AC current through it. I don't care if they did it, but this is fast speed. This isn't. Before it used to be two to one. This was half the size of this one. Now they're not exactly the same size. So it is almost one to one, but with all the torque, we'll go way down here. I'll never run it this low. The belt's lined up the best I can get it, best I can do on a desktop. I do plan on mounting this all on a big plate, because for milling, you would have to stand it up. It'd be too hard to mill sideways. But. Short video not to make it too long. Stay tuned for further updates.